Well guys, welcome back. Today I've decided to revisit the, uh, the coast along where I live. And uh, it's a cracking day. I'm in a different location this time. I'm after a, a very long lived and great spot for one of my favorite crows, the raven. And uh, they breed quite close to a, a former colony. Um, this is further round on the lizard than when I did the vlog on coastal seabirds a while ago. And uh, there's also a chance of the kestrel because they breed around here too. And uh, yeah, it's a cracking day, a bit windy, but hey, it's kind of what you get on the coast. So I'm gonna get there, spend the day, and hopefully we'll get some uh, nice views of the raven. So raven's one of the earliest breeding birds in the UK. So probably now, you know, heavily on eggs for sure. Probably now sitting and brooding them. So hopefully you'll see a bit of activity. And uh, yeah, let's hope for the best. Oh, what's that? Wow. What a beautiful fungus. Whew. This is impossible to see but there's a peregrine falcon, quite large, just landed on that rock. Um, tempted to get the gear out and see if I could get a little distant shot, but uh, to be honest, time I do that, it would have flown off. Lovely to see. I'm not sure this is a, if this is a separate peregrine than one that I usually go and watch at this time of the year, but uh, lovely to see. What a great place to live peregrine pair just chilling out on a rock at the minute the males at the back the females at the front and uh, yeah lovely just to see them um, absolutely cracking she's just been calling away I'm quite a distance from them they're on like a little island there um, nice and safe um, and I'm not aware of any nest site around here on this part of the coast so I think they're just literally having a bit of a rest on the rock so uh, just nice to sit and watch those before I head off and go and see the ravens. And um, it's a little bit windy today. That wind really picked up and it's not really forecast. So I didn't expect it to be quite as bad. So I'm um, getting a lot of problems with um, a lot of certainly camera shake here. Um, so not really ideal for the, for the video side of things because I've got no stabilization in the camera. Um, and it's bobbling all over the shop, but uh, still nice to sit here and watch them for a bit and then I'll head off and hopefully we'll uh, go and find those ravens. So I've managed to find a, a spot out the wind. At the moment, the wind is just ruthless at the top. It's just absolutely cutting through and the lens uh, and the camera are blowing all over the shop. So really not um, great. So at the moment, I've got a lovely little inlet here with loads of uh, diving gannets and there's also fulmers feeding. And I've just seen um, a couple of peregrines just watching them out at sea now, displaying and flying around. Um, tremendous, really. Um, doing a bit of like pair bonding and, and um, just having a great bit of fun really. So superb to watch. So I'm just set up here for a bit, out the wind, enjoy the sun, have a brew, and then um, we'll see what we'll, uh, we're gonna do next really. I might head round the corner to the Ravens if that wind does sort of die down a little bit, but it is quite cheeky at the minute. Well, so far this, this morning, it's been, um, it's been pretty good. I haven't really uh, taken that many pictures. Uh, I saw the, uh, the peregrine pair, which were um, just on the rock sunning themselves. Uh, I've seen quite a lot of diving gannets out at sea, fulmers, blackbacks, herring gulls, and a lot of pipits, meadow and rock. Um, still not seen the resident kestrel, which is what I was kind of after today, hoping to, to maybe get to see, um, to see it. But you know, um, I'm forever hopeful, just looking along the coast here, it's quite, quite rugged and um, there's going to be some ideal places for the kestrel um, to nest in. So yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, another few hours here uh, might show itself and then we can uh, get a little bit closer maybe and get set up and, and watch that, um, that kestrel in and out of the nest site. But uh, yeah, still beautiful to be here, um, cracking day and I'm out that wind, thank God. It's been uh, pretty cheeky up top. So 
So I've currently got the uh, Peregrine Falcon at the moment just sitting on a, uh, on a rock at the bottom. Um, not far, far away from me actually. Uh, just doing a little bit of filming. Um, fantastic to see. Um, just been eating some prey as well. Um, I think it's like a pigeon. Uh, the male was feeding on it. And when he'd finished, she came over, flushed him off, and he, he left, and then she continued to feed. So that's absolutely superb. I've decided to stay with the peregrine falcons as they've been literally flying around displaying pair bonding um, it's been awesome and actually quite tolerant of uh, of me just sitting here on the cliffs it's been absolutely fantastic it really has i got some nice still footage and some video as well at quite distance but still just lovely to see and this is not expected for me today i didn't realize the peregrine falcons were actually around this area that i'm at today so uh really really great to, to see actually it's made my day really because the ravens have been quite quiet and i haven't seen my resident kestrel which i was after so a bit of a nice surprise really get out on the cliffs um lots of pipits seen a couple of swallows um and yet to see the burgers yeah absolutely fantastic Well guys, I think I'm going to call it a day. It's been a superb day out on the cliffs, looking for the resident Kestrel and Raven. Unfortunately, they didn't put in an appearance today, but had the pleasure of seeing some swallows coming off the sea, meadow pipits, rock pipits, gannets, fulmer, seals, you know, lots of other species. So it's been really, really good. And top it off was basically seeing those peregrine falcons today absolutely smashing birds didn't expect to see them um, cruising along the cliffs no idea where the nest is so somewhere along the rocky outcrop somewhere on a vertical face somewhere nice and safe i hope but just to see them on the rock in the morning light and to see them displaying and resting up after a kill was absolutely fantastic it really made my day but uh, as always guys thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.